Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be tapping on the fear of something going wrong. If you're hyper vigilant and you're somebody who finds that you're always expecting something to go wrong, you're living in that state of anxiety, then this tapping video is for you. But before we dive into the tapping, hi, I'm Sandra Inman, author of Tapping Into Abundance, using EFT tapping and the law of attraction to change your mindset and turn your life around. And if you want to do just that, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss any videos. It's pretty common if you're an anxious type of person or if you're a bit of a, a, bit of a worrier that you are going to experience times where you just feel like what's going to go wrong. You may be afraid to even open your emails or answer the door or look in the mailbox because you're afraid that, that something bad's going to be there. And for those of you who don't experience this hypervigilance, it may seem really strange, but for those people who do, it's, it happens every day. There's this constant fear that someone somewhere is going to basically come out and attack you in some way, or some situation is going to come and attack you in some way. So we're gonna do some tapping on that to try and uh, bring that anxiety down and also to then look at what the beliefs might be behind uh, this fear of something bad happening. Karate chop point. Even though. I'm always worried something bad is going to happen. I'm okay. Even though. I'm scared something bad is going to happen. There's no reason for it. I'm just scared. A lot of the time. I'm going to honor how I feel anyway. Even though I'm scared every day that something bad is going to happen. I'm going to honor how I feel. Now tapping on the points. Every day, I'm afraid that something bad's gonna happen. I'm always expecting the worst. I'm always expecting something bad to happen. It just doesn't feel safe not to. It doesn't feel safe to be calm. It doesn't feel safe to feel okay. It doesn't feel safe to feel safe. It just feels safer to always expect the worst. I'll always be prepared. I'll be prepared for the worst. If I expect the worst, I'll always be prepared. And for some strange reason, It just feels safer that way. I expect the worst. When I look in my letterbox, I expect there might be something bad in there.
somebody asking for money, somebody telling me I'm in trouble in some way. When I go into my emails, I get scared. Somebody might be upset with me. When I turn on the internet, social media, the news, there's always something bad happening there. Sometimes I'm even afraid to answer a phone call. Especially when I don't know who it is. It just doesn't feel safe. It doesn't feel safe to feel safe. And I'm just going to honour how I feel. I don't like feeling like this. But I'm just going to allow myself to acknowledge it. Now taking a deep breath and letting it out. You may feel that after doing a couple of rounds of this type of tapping that you start to feel calmer. It might not take that hypervigilance away, but it will help you feel more calm and the more you're in touch with the reality that you just don't feel safe, feeling safe, then you'll start to understand maybe where that has come from or what beliefs may be underlying that or what past experiences you've had that may be causing that belief as well. Generally with hypervigilance it comes from being quite, an, being quite anxious uh, but having experienced something in the past either through your upbringing or an event that has created this anxiety in the first place and tapping on this can help you get more in touch with it and to understand it and then eventually to work on the beliefs that are creating it in the first place. It's a process that takes some time. It's not something just a little bit of tapping is going to fix, but what this tapping will do is just help you realize what's actually really going on in the subconscious mind and help calm your nervous system uh, at the same time. If you like the video, hit the like button, share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm Sandra Inman and I'll see you on the next video.